afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Tilson Live. It is Tuesday. It's two o'clock. Eric Allard here, part of the fourth generation of the Tilson family, joined as I am each and every week by Don Dampsler, Vice President of Marketing and Customer Experience for Tilson Homes. How are you doing, Don? I'm doing great. How are you, Eric? Doing awesome. Doing awesome. Very excited about today's episode. We have yeah. um, a, a very rare occurrence, um, but a beautiful, beautiful home that we're going to share. But folks, jump in. Tell us where you're watching from, where you're building. We are live on Facebook. We are live on YouTube. We are here to answer each and every one of your questions about building a home on your land. So if you don't know, Tilson builds homes on your land all over the state of Texas, um, at least in the inhabited areas of Texas. Um, no offense, Lubbock. Alpine, uh, you know, Rio Grande Valley, love you guys. We just can't get out there. So, uh, but anyway, we are a we are a fourth generation family owned and operated build on your land home builder that uh, builds custom homes on people's land in predominantly rural areas of Texas. Although not exclusively, but but ninety one percent of what we build is out in the country, uh, outside of an unincorporated city. Um, which is fine with us. So the majority of people that are joining us today are going to be like-minded, like you guys. You're, you're, you mm -hmm. maybe you've done the whole subdivision thing, and and uh, it was a great place to raise your kids, and it was a great place to go to school, and close to restaurants and your work. And now you're ready for like more space because you're tired of the neighbors' kids that are home from college right now that are playing basketball till one o'clock in the morning uh, outside of your master bedroom window. So if that frustrates you, and that's not the lifestyle you're looking for, you're tired of someone telling you what color your front door has to be, or you're tired of someone telling you what day your garbage can has to be off the, the street, um, this is the show for you. And we can help you realize that independent lifestyle. So jump in, tell us where you're watching from, where you're building, what part of the process you are in. If you're kind of just you know dipping your toe into this idea, if you are already you know moving on down the road in the, in the process... Maybe you've done the stakeout. Maybe you're under construction. Maybe you've closed and you're just tuning in to, to say hi to us and you know brag about your comfortable air conditioning that you're in. I don't know. But uh, that's a real thing right now. But Don, tell us what in the world we're going to be doing today. We have a very, very special video to show folks. We do. Um, this is actually the first time we have shown um, this plan, which is not a Tilson plan. Oh, so it's, it's the customer's own plan. You're um, kidding. I am not. Uh, so we we get a lot of questions about you know what it's what happens if you if you don't pick. We have tons of plans for you to choose from. You can cut and paste, put them together, do whatever you want. But sometimes you just don't see what you like. Um, so we get a lot of questions about what what happens when that happens. And this was a great home that we wanted to share with you guys, where that's exactly what happened. They had spotted things that they liked, um, different pieces of Tilson homes, different pieces of other homes that they saw online. And so we just thought this was a great opportunity to kind of talk to you guys about what the custom build um, process looks like when you're starting with your own plan. Um, so very excited to show you this house because it is it is beautiful. It's, it's a gorgeous so home. Yeah, we yeah. appreciate the, the, the Moors letting us letting us show this. We built it. It's in Saddle Creek Forest. Mm -hmm. uh, for those who don't know, it's a really very nice deed restricted subdivision acreage, but deed restricted subdivision still. Um, kind of on the, I think it's Waller County, but it's really the Waller County Grimes County line. Um, very close to the Renaissance Festival for all you uh, Renfest uh, groupies. I don't, I don't, I've never been. <gasps> I know. Spoiler alert: I grew up like nine miles from there. Never been in my life. So you've never two, seen a joust. Or okay. had a scotch egg? No, 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 none of the things. The turkey leg, the, the none of it. None Eric, of it. I know, I know. I got, I got two things that I that I live near, I grew up near, still live near, and I've never done. And I'm gonna keep the streak alive. But now that I was putting out here, we're gonna I'm gonna stuck with both of them. That is the the Texas Renaissance Festival. Never been. Santa's Wonderland. That's it. Hadn't done it. You're Not like right it. there at both of them. Yep. What are you? Too crowded. Too many people. Anyway, so, none of that matters. This is a beautiful video. We I don't like things that are people -y either. So. Tell us, uh, <laughs> jump in and tell us where you're watching from, where you're building, part of the process that you're in. I see the Moors are joining us from Wall They Tower. are. Yeah. I know exciting. about where they're probably watching this. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we got Will coming in from Klondike. Hey, Will. Hey, Will. What's up, man? We have Sophie who is joining us from Harden. Howdy. East Texas. Um, we've got Tanya who's joining us from Waxahachie, oh. and she was actually their sales consultant on this build. We have Jason and Ro um, here and looking to build in Eustace. i uh, been chatting with Shelly and hope to get things started in the next few months with Tilson. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. Well, we'll get your questions answered. 
Yeah, absolutely. We've got Patty. Hi from League City, uh, building in Washington County near Brenham, uh, Laporte D. Insulation installed today. Oh, awesome. good. Very cool. We've got to trap that hot air in. It's very good. Very yeah, cool. yes, definitely. Uh, we got Cornelia watching from Allen. Hopefully, hopefully we'll build in Waller County soon. Oh, cool. All right. Heading south. I love it. We have David checking in from Boston. <laughs> nice. Welcome, David. Uh, we got Cindy watching from Allen, Texas, hoping to build with Tilson in Grayson County. Very cool. All right. A lot of folks from Allen. Yeah. Go oh, Eagles. We got Samara asking, what is your smallest plan? That'd be the San Antonio, like right at 1,200 square feet. Yep. And then, like you said, we have the Moors joining us on YouTube. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you for Thank letting you us share your home. Yeah. Uh, we've got a Dawn. This is our first Dawn, I think. Commenting. It is. Um, hi from Meridian. Uh, we're looking into building a San Antonio Sea home and pretty much made our own plan. Um, oh, no. Hoping to start in late fall. Lacey in the Waco office is amazing. I agree. Oh, yeah. Yes, agreed. Is. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, then we have Skinny from YouTube joining from Florida. What's up, Skinny? And Will is tuning in to take a break from the Texas heat. Absolutely. Me too. And then we've got Lisa, who's in the home stretch on our rock wall on Possum Kingdom Lake. Almost done. Awesome. Very cool, Lisa. Thanks for jumping very in. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, jump in. You guys, as you're watching, you know, drop your questions and comments into the chat, and we will address every single one. But let's go ahead and let them introduce their home and kind of tell you about the custom building process. Let's do it. Hi everybody, I'm Kelsey with Telson and I am here with the Moore family to talk about their custom Telson home here in Waller County, Texas. So, for starters, you come up to this house, it's a beautiful white farmhouse. So tell me a little bit about your inspiration for the outside of your home. Well, we drew a lot from the canyon in Bryan, Texas. Mm -hmm. um, we visited there a couple times, two or three times, mm -hmm. and we knew that's what we wanted. We wanted the board and batten, the all white. Um, and so we got a lot of inspiration from that, that model home, the canyon. Yeah, and when you first came in to Tanya, to, to her office to draw up your plan, did you have an idea of what you wanted the exterior to look like at that time, or was it kind of evolved as you figured out your floor plan? Yeah, we knew kind of how we wanted to look. We knew we wanted the doorbells on the front, mm -hmm. uh, porches, a long porch in the front, porch in the back. Um, and so we just kind of took her some sketches and things. I just kind of cut and pasted things together and Tanya just took it and drew it up. And just she, rolled she with was, it. She yes. was awesome. Yeah, Tanya was awesome. All right. And yeah, so there is a, a process. That, you know, we, we'll, tell you, we'll tell you folks that, you know, hey, we will have my own plan. Bring it to us. Okay, bring mm -hmm. your plan. We're going to check make sure it's in our wheelhouse. Um, and then we're probably going to start with one of ours. And I know you have some, some things to say about that. So. Yes. Um, so they did bring in kind of their own little sketch and everything that they, they liked. So this is what their, their front elevation ended up looking like after, after we did all the sketching. But actually what Tanya did in this situation is they had kind of drawn out the floor plan. Like they mentioned taking a lot of visual inspiration from the canyon. But when they started describing what they wanted in the home, um, Tanya realized that the Angelina plan was actually the better one to kind of price off of. Um, and that's what she used um, just to kind of like figure out the pricing. And then once all of that was good, we we rolled with their their own custom plan. Um, so you can see if we if we advance through, see kind of what the actual exterior looks like versus that elevation and then the, the, you know, the sketch drawing. And then this is their floor plan. Um, so very, very different from what Tilson offers, but definitely has some, some different elements of, of the homes that are within our portfolio. Um, but just a great, great layout. You know, what really stands out, look at the, the back where, where Eric is kind of hovering his mouse. You've got all of that outdoor living space, um, entertaining area. So you've got a covered porch, you've got a screened in porch. They actually added some additional uncovered porch, um, behind it after the fact. So just lots, lots and lots of outdoor spaces and, you know, ways to get there, lots of exterior doors and just, you know, wonderful stuff. Um, Faith is actually commenting in, in the chat on the, yeah. the double entry doors that they continued, you know, straight out the back. So this is just, it's a gorgeous plan that they came up with um, together working with Tanya of making sure that we've got the right symmetry, but all the functionality um, that they're, they're looking for in the house. And, and you can see that it's well within Tilson's wheelhouse, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's 2,300, 24 square foot, one story home designed yep. for country living like this is a, this is a slam dunk great fit for for tilson and, and yeah. great home for the for the more so 
And you can tell we took some inspiration back because they started doing this before our Polidoro. If you look at it, the Pol- you know, that family room, dining room, kitchen space, very reminiscent of our Polidoro uh, mm-hmm. model that we're, we're building in San Marcos. So, you know, you guys borrow from us, we borrow from you. It's, it's, it's a good, good little symbiotic relationship we got going. Cool. Oh, that's a good word for the day, symbiotic. That's like my million dollar word for the that day. That is SAT <laughs> level there, yes. <laughs> Rock well, my daughter's going into AP bio, so I got to be able to keep up. Okay. Um, but yeah, the the front exterior, um, which is, you know, that classic farm, white farmhouse with the board and batten. Um, you've got your your rough sawn wood elements coming out. Um, uh, he referenced the, the doorbell, um, registered trademark Tilton. Um, that's what we call it. It's kind of a, a cross between a gable and a dormer. So it is a gable basically that has a window. So that's actually attic space, um, but just gives you that exterior look like you've got the second floor without having to heat and cool a second floor. Um, but yeah, and the, the big double big double doors, that front, front porch area. I, I love me a good front porch. Um, so just yeah, and it, it may be tough to see in the in the picture, but there are two separate seating area in front of those windows. They've got rockers set up. I mean, there's, I think there's the no... next picture actually is there. There's a picture in here, so that's the side where you can see they they do have a three car garage on here, mm-hmm. and they've got the covered entry um, into their laundry room and drop zone area. And then the next one is actually a zoom in on that. There's your front porch. So yeah, they've got rocking chairs and seating to both sides. Just very very large space there. Yeah, and, and and again, this is you know you see a lot of the features here that that we can offer on any plan. You know, we get a lot of requests for a a wraparound porch, but the reality is, you know, I'm with I'm with the Moors on this one. Put the space in the back, like that's, right. that's where everybody's gonna be hanging out. You know, spend the money back there where you're gonna get, and this still gets the look that you're going. Right? For. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. You get that huge front porch, great entertaining space, but you don't have to, you know. What do you yeah. really do with the side porch? It's just, yeah. You know, just for looks. Sweep it off. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Well, we do have a few other people joining us, so let's, let's check in see. with them. Um, we've got Diana, who is building in Mo- Moody, oh, Coriel, cool. uh, getting close to walk through in a couple of weeks. Awesome. Nice. We've got Christine, who is watching from Tyler, building a custom Fayetteville C on Lake Fork. Construction drive is done. Waiting for the last audit, meet the builder, and release for construction. Awesome. All right. Well, we're getting real close. Yeah. All right. We got Skinny asking. He says it's heard that it, in Texas it is hotter than Florida. Is that true? It is today. Uh, so it's it's the but I mean you know it's, it's, it's worse to the west. New Mexico, Arizona, California, they're getting beat but, up. But it's west. a dry heat out there. Right, right. When it says 135 <laughs> degrees, I don't get it's cooking your brains. Like that's not dry, wet, whatever, doesn't matter. But yeah, it's it's warm, man. We're we're looking at uh, several consecutive days of uh, 100 degree plus heat. Mm-hmm. We are it's about 7 degrees higher than the normal uh, right now. But from 94 to 101 you you can feel it it's hot yeah um and then we've got chris sharing that he is right behind lisa up in possum kingdom getting ready for the final i will i will say the one thing about this i mean yes everybody's legs are getting low and grass is getting crispy but it is a if you're a home builder we are gaining some ground like we we have shaved basically every month that goes off that our our closings that the average time of construction drops by like 30 days right now so we're we are cruising um, with construction, and that should bring rain. Now that I said that out loud, that I was going to say, yeah, that ought to do it. <laughs> storm forming in the. We cold. definitely have a love hate relationship with rain. Like personally, we want it, but professionally, we're like, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Except yeah. during those middle of the day's hours when the crews yeah, are just that, like, that, uh-uh, uh-uh. That two o'clock to six o'clock is rowdy. Break time. Break time. It's rowdy. Uh, like I mentioned, Faith was sharing that she loves to see the double entry doors. I love that too. And they, they continued it onto the back porch too. So you've got you got that going. Very beautifully done, yeah. Um, we got Sophie. Um, hoping to build in Liberty County. Budget is around the Guadalupe model range, but dreams are looking like the Canyon model. Would a custom home be a smart option for us? I mean, you know, the, again, with the exterior, it's very easy to change the look. Uh, we have done Guadalupe's that, that look more or less like this uh that mm-hmm. in fact the guadalupe c if i recall is pretty much this um you know it's going to be bo- board and bat um i think it has dormers you can do dormers you could do you know a larger gable on the front something like that i refuse to use the term um <laughs> but we the outside of the house is the easiest part to change so if you so so let us know you know feature wise if you want to do a, a cathedral ceiling here and there inside the guadalupe to achieve the the look 
um, that, that the Canyon has, like in the master, that can be very, very easily done um, without coming anywhere near the, the Canyon's price. So. Mm-hmm. All right. Great. And we've got Jesse saying, Hey, howdy, Jesse. Um, Jesse. Hope you're enjoying your new home. You guys yeah. moved in just a couple weeks ago. Uh, we got Jennifer. Hi from Kaufman. Haven't seen a live in a while. We finished our Fayetteville seat almost a year ago. Awesome. Uh, well, the, the, Talent is aged like fine wine, Jennifer. It just gets better and better and better. <laughs> and you continue to get what you pay for, I promise. Yes. You get every every penny's worth of entertainment that you pay for. So, yeah, y'all, uh, drop your questions into the chat. Um, we'd love to hear from you. And, it, again, they can be related to this plan or others. They can be mm-hmm. finance, site evaluation, or site preparation, utilities, uh, customization, anything you want to ask us, just ask us on here. We want to get your questions answered. But let's yeah. take a look at this beautiful home. Absolutely. Let's go check out the dining space. Cool. And then you come inside your house. You've got this beautiful front door. Yes. Lots of light coming in. And the first thing that you see is your dining area. Yes. We wanted a big space for large family gatherings Mm -hmm. and um, entertaining space. Um, Yeah. And... Uh, I also wanted, when you came into the front door, I wanted um, the view to yes. the back. Yeah, I love that when you come yes. in, it's just a straight shot out right. to your back patio. Right, and I wanted the table to be um, in, in the view as well. Mm-hmm. And then in here, you have a gorgeous kitchen. So tell me a little oh, bit about what you wanted you. in this kitchen area. Well, I wanted lots of cabinets, and I also wanted a, a space to display my family heirlooms, mm-hmm. my china, because I don't have an old school um, china cabinet. Yeah. And um, so Tanya helped us with um, drawing that up and yeah. giving and us ideas about the cabinet tree. I love yeah. that not all of the upper cabinets are the glass. You just right. have your specific display cabinets and then the rest, you've right. got tons of storage in here yes. all around. Yeah, and then yeah. tell me a little bit about this brick and oh, the wood. Yes. The, the brick, um, I saw this idea online and um, we wanted an open space, but we also wanted to define the kitchen area. Mm-hmm. And we thought that this brick would be a good way to do that. And we also wanted to look um, messy mm-hmm. and rustic. An evening, rustic. <laughs> yes. And, you know, I, um, I actually was here the day the Mason yes. came to do it and I. I just said, you know, I showed him some messy. pictures that we saw online, and I said, just make it messy, make it look, <laughs> look old, and so there's not clean, defined lines, and so yes. I mean, he just he nailed it. So. Yeah, yeah. They're like, um, just give it a close. little character, yeah, right, so that it looks like it's well loved and lived in. Yes. Yeah. And then you've got tons of workspace here with this island. Yes. Um, I wanted workspace, but I want also wanted gathering space mm-hmm. um, for family and friends. So. Um, <laughs> We, uh, Tanya, once again, um, suggested this, uh, the dimensions and mm-hmm. it fit perfectly. And, well, and you still uh, have tons of walk space yes. all around it yes. on all the sides. Yes. And then tell me a little bit about this side. Okay, um, I wanted um, just a regular old school, I call it old school oven mm-hmm. um, instead of the built-in. And so, believe it or not, I wanted the old school fan yeah. Vent. Mm-hmm. Um, and she helped us with the cabinetry above it. So you, I'm sure you folks saw some things in there that you don't see every day in a, in a Tilson home, but mm-hmm. it's all stuff that, that we can absolutely accomplish. They did a masterful job of, of making the house look like it's a hundred years old. Um, very, very tastefully done. I'm, I was super impressed with, with their design and their selections. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, I really like what they did um, with the dining area because, you know, a lot of us, we have that special dining room table and furniture mm-hmm. and sets that we have, and you kind of hide them away in that that formal dining room that nobody ever goes in. And so I love how it's it's a showpiece um, in the home. It's it's right there, you know, center, centered in that walkway. So you can, you can show it off and then just very smart um, to, you know, not worry about the traditional china cabinet and, and do, you know, achieve that same look in the kitchen um, 
where all that that stuff is anyway. So right. you know, doing doing the glass uppers to show it that way. So I just think it was it was great. And I also just just loved just makes makes my heart warm seeing the little the grandkids table over in the corner. Cute. <laughs> like Super cute. Just, yep. Yeah. You could just picture the Thanksgivings and Christmases and everything with the with the kids' table. Uh, we had very different upbringings. I'm picturing time out. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. We did not have time out in the Aller house. Okay, was, you can tell which one of us is a good kid and which one of us was a good yeah, kid. Yeah, there was no time out. It was just, <laughs> yeah, corrective action. Corrective action. Corrective action. Yeah, direct corrective action. Anyway, yeah, just, it's gorgeous. And the, the I know they mentioned the the schmear mortar texture uh, mm-hmm. mortar that the, the Mason did. It was able to pull that off. So um, I'm, I'm glad that they ended up happy with that. So Yeah, it's just beautiful just the way that the brick kind of separates off the space while it still has that, that wide open. Um, so here is that gorgeous kitchen um, with that, the fabulous, I love the one piece that they, they, it's actually the uh, Frigidaire professional series. Um, yeah. That is that range and oven um, just all built together. It just gives you that kind of industrial um, kitchen look that just, it is, it is a dual fuel um, mm-hmm. range as well. So. Yeah, just very nice, very nice. And then, like we were talking about, the upper cabinets with the glass. And you know, she mentioned she she saw her inspiration picture. We've shown a couple of them as well. I don't think this is the exact one that she had, but we've shown this is actually the the photo that I pulled is is another Tilson home where we did the full the full brick arch that we shared mm-hmm. around the same time that they were kind of designing their plan. So it, it is something that we we have done, and that was it was very similar. Of the people wanted the you know they wanted the messy brick, they wanted the old world kind of look. Um, so. Just, just very neat to see everybody kind of borrow from each other and yeah, and bring all of those pieces in. So, just a couple other comments came through, and then uh, guys, f- drop your questions into the tab. But there is, we got a lot of, of video to show on this mm-hmm. one. We got some beautiful shots of this home. We do. Um, so let's see. We had M who was waving to us and saying, "Hey, welcome hey, back, you. howdy." Uh, we got Kimberly. He, hi, he just, he just set forms yesterday on our Furio C in Matagorda. Oh, Allie cool. in Georgetown has been amazing. Awesome. Oh, that's that great. great to hear. Um, and then Jesse is sharing that she loves her home. The shower in the master is the greatest. Uh, definitely <laughs> the RV showers, which not a very high bar, but I'm hey. glad that you're enjoying it. Yeah, start somewhere. We crushed it. Okay. We crushed yes, it. we crushed it. Um, and then Soupy is asking if we know the dimensions on that island. I actually had, I strategically brought that up so that I would have that in the event that someone asked. So um, I think it's nine by three and a half. I'm sorry, eight, eight by about three, three and a half. Um, okay. So eight feet wide, three and a half feet deep. And it's all, of course, all one level and mm-hmm. it's all cabinets. Um, so I was trying to scoot down to the island. So um, yeah. And then of course, you know, the backside of it was finished with brick. Um, they want it, which is that is actually a thin brick veneer mm-hmm. that we did there. So it doesn't take up too. Yeah, too all the brick that you're seeing in this house is the thin, the thin brick. It's it, eight foot six overall. Um, the cabinet mm-hmm. portion is eight foot. It's eight foot six. You know, with, when you include the end panels and everything like that. So awesome. So good size. Mm-hmm. All right, fabulous. Well, let's take a look at their living room. Let's check it out. All right, well, let's go check out your living space. Okay. I love how much light is in here. Oh, the big windows you. and then yes. this one coming through too. That's yes. awesome. We wanted the, the views. Um, that's why we chose the, the large windows mm-hmm. there. And then in here, tell me a little bit about your living, living room. Um, well, this, this originally was just a blank wall. Mm-hmm. Um, we knew we wanted, or she wanted a fireplace inside, but didn't necessarily want a wood burning with the smell. And, and, and we had an issue with the box was going to be too far into that hallway behind it. And mm-hmm. so it was going to stick out. So we decided just to go with a blank wall. And I built this shiplap mm-hmm. enclosure here and, and the brick. We had some brick left over. That's the thin brick. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I, I built that and we have the electric fireplace that actually has a heater in it so it blows you know so mm-hmm. it, it blows out purpose, some hot air yeah, so you can get heat from it but so that was something we did after the fact that i that i did so yeah and it kind of gives a nice little ambiance <clears throat> as well you know you mm-hmm. get your your fire burning but you don't have to worry yeah. about right yeah we can turn the fire on now and it's in the middle of the sun, summer yeah. but <laughs> but you don't have to have the heat so. yes yes 
Just leave the heat off and yeah, then you've just the got the off. nice glow. Yeah. Yes. So that was something we added after we moved in. Yeah. But it added to the room. Yeah, I think we it turned out great. And we also wanted um, it to be a large space, but also cozy. Have yes. Have a cozy feeling. Yeah. So. And plenty of seating area for whenever yes. you have the family over. Right. So, oh, I'm experiencing technical difficulty. There we go. <laughs> so this was, uh, I, I wanted to, I mean, I'm glad we did this, point this out, that, that mm -hmm. people do stuff to their house after we leave. They do. Totally fine. Totally normal. Um, actually had a, 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 f a good friend of mine who built a shiplap thing just like this in his house. Um, so it's, it did an awesome job. It looks great and uh, very, very impressive. And yeah, it's, it's some things are done after we're done. So yeah. it's okay if, if, you know, when talking with your builder, whether it's us or whoever else you're dealing with, you know, maybe not every single thing is going to be done exactly the way you would have it done or have it envisioned, or maybe you don't know exactly what, you want yet as far as being mm -hmm. so it's okay like that's that's gonna be all right so that's, I'm yeah really, yeah really you don't more, more you don't out. have to do it all at once too yeah. so, because in this case like with an electrical fireplace you don't need you don't need the ventilation out um so so you're good to go there and mm -hmm. I also like, like the way that they did it. I, I like the fireplace coming into the room when you've got something to kind of bank each side of it. Um, like they did, they, he very clearly planned it out very well with yeah. the cabinets that he's got. The two pieces of furniture on the side. So Very tastefully done. Yeah, really love it. Very beautiful. Uh, which Will, Will is agreeing, saying what a beautiful home. Absolutely agree. Yeah, they, they did a great job. Um, absolutely gorgeous. But Y'all keep dropping your questions in. Actually, I see Wendy is is does have a does have a comment. Um, we're having you all leave the sheetrock blank over the fireplace, and we're going to add shiplap ourselves after we're in. There we go. Yeah, I think they're building up in Republic. Great. So, yeah, uh, it's a great way to add your own stamp onto your home. Um, you know, the things things that you want to do, you do. The things you want us to do, we do. Um, Jennifer's saying, um, once you move in, you definitely think of things you could have, should have done. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. More outlets on my back porch. I need one more outlet on my back porch <laughs> in a very specific place. But you probably you probably know some people. That I know. But I don't think Rich is going to let me turn loose with the sawzall on the back porch. I don't think that's a <laughs> vision. Um, then we've got another Jennifer Sharon. We're building a rock wall in Hill County. Logan and right. Eli have been great to work with. That's awesome to hear. Yep. Eli, a finalist for Building Superintendent of the Year for the state of Texas. So mm -hmm. he and Zach Stone. Yeah. Very proud of them. Yeah. All right. Well, let's take a look at their master suite. Let's go see. And then should we check out your master bedroom? Sure. sure. Well, I like this little section that leads to your master. This we'll definitely talk about in a minute because okay. I love the screened in porch mm -hmm. that leads to your outdoor patio. That's such a smart idea. And I'm guessing that that's one of the doors that just slams and you get that sound. Yes, uh, that's door. what we wanted, yeah. the screen door that slammed. <laughs> and then here we have nice half bath. It's really lovely for guests. Make sure everybody feels accommodated. And we'll go check out your master. All right. Oh, I love the beam in here. Oh, thank you. That's thank so you. pretty. The ceiling is super high. Yeah, we, um, as I mentioned, we went, visited the canyon, mm -hmm. and so this was something we saw there, and so we had to do that for, for this room. Yeah, I like that you did the cathedral ceiling in here and just left the regular ceiling in the family room, because mm -hmm. I feel like it gives a little bit more dimension on the outside of the house, but it also makes your master bedroom feel so much more spacious without having to add additional square feet yeah, to it. it makes this room feel really large, which it is, it's a large bedroom. Yeah. Um, yeah, you've got really, really tall windows over here. Mm -hmm. Are those the same, uh, same dimensions as the ones on the back of the house? I think those are a little taller. Yeah. I'm not sure, but because this is such a tall ceiling height in here, mm -hmm. we had to have large windows there to make it proportional. Yeah, you didn't want tiny little windows yeah. on a really big wall. <laughs> and we wanted to be able to see out, you know, we have this property, so we wanted to be able to see everything. Same yeah. Way in, in, in the living room, we wanted to be able to see the, the woods and Yeah, the exactly. Deer. You have fabulous views of your property in every single room. Yes. 
And then through here, do we have your master, master bathroom? bathroom. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yes. Very light and bright. I love it. Oh, I love the ship lab. Oh, thank you. We just wanted a touch of ship lab. We didn't want the whole uh, bathroom mm -hmm. um, done in ship lab. Um, I wanted to. I wanted my own mirrors and lighting, so mm -hmm. um, we got credit. So yeah, we got credit back from Tilson mm -hmm. for the, the mirrors and lights. Mm -hmm. so just lets the wall light. Yeah. yeah, we installed our own mirrors and lights. In, um, yeah. In all the bathrooms. So. Separate. Yeah. Vanities. Yeah. Uh, yep. That's, that's a must. The, it's the marriage oh, yeah. saver. Yeah. We'll see which one's hers, and she's got the big yes. one. Yes. <laughs> You've got your corner. I've got my little space. Right, there. right. All right, and then on this side of your bathroom, we've got your walk in shower. Walk no glass. Shower. Yeah, we're, we're not tub people, so we wanted a big shower, walk in shower with no glass, no door. Mm -hmm. We don't have to squeegee yeah. the glass anymore, <laughs> and so it's, it's plenty big enough and the water doesn't splash out yeah so we, we love it and yeah and i, and I love got my river rock. river rock yeah i got the river <laughs> rock that i had to have that was a must for me because it kind of blends with our nature that we, yeah. our land out here so and it gives you a spa feeling when you walk yeah out. yeah you've it's got really the nice, nice window to nice, let in some yes. light, light coming in. Yes. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then through here we have the laundry room okay so. let's go check okay. it out so yeah um a lot of thought put into the space and and uh it's hard to tell from here but on the floor plan they built like truly a, a racetrack around mm -hmm. you know you can, you can tell that they're they're empty nesters and most of the, of the living that they do is is right here in this core area you know the master bath the master bedroom utility room is all kind of all happening here you can see there to the left um where the utility the drop zone utility room is at least back in the master or we can master the right yeah be a great place for grandkids to just do laps and laps and laps, and laps. yes Absolutely. So yeah, just just beautifully designed. So this is that that hallway going into the master space. Um, yeah, and I mentioned um, also that you know her own mirrors, right? Mm -hmm. Light fixture there in the in the half bath. So um, things that that can be accommodated. Absolutely. And so this is the master bedroom, like they mentioned, they took inspiration from the Canyon um, model master and did the cathedral ceiling with that, that kind of natural look um, on the rough sawn um, in there, just the, the light color, just very, very big space. Um, and yes, very, very tall windows in here. They are actually the same size as the ones that are in the family room um, yeah. that you saw earlier, but yeah, letting in lots and lots of light. It's a good, good size room. And then this is the master bathroom. Um, like like they mentioned, they did their own lights and mirror. We actually did do the ship lap yeah. um, in in these spaces, um, and so we're we we are able to do that. Or you can you can do it yourself, whatever your your choice is. That is something that we offer. And just yeah, I love that. It's a great it's a great use of space. Like there's not a lot of wasted space. Everybody's he's he's got his space. She's got her space. And but there's not a lot of wasted space here. They I mean very good use of the square footage in this home. I like the place to sit down and put your socks and shoes on. I yes. am a, I'm a huge fan of. I love the little that. dressing area that they've yeah. got going. Um, and the, the I, I love the idea of a walk-in shower big enough that you don't have to have the glass door that constantly is getting soap scummy and needs to be squeegeed and all of it. Yeah. Love it. Love the low maintenance. Yep. Beautiful. Yes. Very, very good. Keep dropping your questions into the chat, guys. See, uh, Wendy, mm -hmm. give us another comment too. Yeah, Will Will was sharing. He agrees that Eli is awesome. Oh, yeah, he is. Um, Thanks, Will. And then, yeah, Wendy's talking about we're doing something similar with our bathrooms with shiplap and our own mirrors and lighting. Uh, really easy to install. We did it in our previous home. It provides a lot of character with a little effort. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great way to put your own, your own stamp on your home. So we definitely encourage you to do that. Um, you got Carolina. Hi from San Marcos. Looking for land in Como County. I'm looking at the Nacogdoches floor plan. Does it allow for cathedral extended rear covered porch? If so, what would be close estimate be? Um, so it does allow for it. Uh, I was going to see if I could bring up the pricing. I may have to do it after on our next video tour. Um, but yeah, let me let me check into that while the next video is playing. Maybe and uh, or you go through the utility area and we'll check that out. Okay, perfect. Um, and then Chris is sharing in his home. He did the, he did our lighting, but is installing his own mirrors. So yeah. You you just, you and we do have it. a selection of mirrors. Like it's not like we just have one mirror. So we have a selection, but if you've got yep, something all different frames, but yeah, there's something special that you saw out there. It's, there's no reason not to do it yourself. 
Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the laundry room and drop zone while Eric works on that. And I can show you the pricing. Oh, this is a nice big laundry area. Thank you. Very nice. So tell me a little bit about what you wanted in here. Lots of light and um, you, we added at the last minute. Yeah, so you can talk about that. right before we signed our final plans, I realized that we didn't have a way to get into the house other than the garage door. Mm -hmm. And so I, at the last minute I emailed Tanya and said, I need to add a door. <laughs> so this door we added in the little porch and she, she just drew it up and it was perfect. I mean, so now we can come in here mm -hmm. into the, the mud room, laundry room, mm -hmm. and not have to open the garage doors. And so yes. I just totally missed that, but I got it to her in time and she added it and sparked it. Yes. And then through here, what do we have? Um, right beyond the store, we have the drop zone. Oh, okay. So it just kind of makes a loop. Right. Yep. All right. Oh, and then it leads all the way through to your kitchen too. Yes. That's really yes. nice. And the drop zone is here. Mm -hmm. yeah, we knew we wanted a drop zone right off the, this is the garage door leading okay. into the garage. So we wanted the drop zone here. And um, I added the hooks and the, the bead board after the fact. So that yeah. was just mm -hmm. a little something I did, you know. To dress um, it up. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Give yeah. a little charm. And it's perfect mm -hmm. that we use this a lot. You come yes. in from there or come in from out here and you know it's I didn't realize how much we would use it. But yeah. It's it's, it's really a net, nice. it's definitely necessary. And then yes. I do I like that you still have some cabinetry up here right. just for extra storage space. Mm -hmm. Yes. To have bags and whatever. Yeah. Storage containers. And even having this door open to the laundry room, it lets so much light in down yes. the hallway for the rest yes. of the house. We really like that. And you know the sight lines mm -hmm. all the way to the to the back door. Yeah, then when you have guests show up and you can mm -hmm. see who it is. Right, <laughs> right. Do you find that more people use that door than the front door? Just being out here? Yeah, I mean definitely family. Family yeah. uses this, this door. door. Yeah. But, but guest. Like me. <laughs> they'll come to the, come front. To the, oh, front. the front door. <laughs> yes. yes. Alright, and should we go check out the other side of the house? Sure. Let's sure. go. Alright. Well alright. Yeah, so here's that utility area, laundry room um, space. As you can see, they've got that exterior pedestrian door um, just to let everybody in um, through the side of the house next to the garage. Um, it's just big, big space. This is definitely where you can see the country living um, aspect of this home. So you've got nice big utility area uh, with a lot of storage area, storage space and flows right in. It's connected straight into the master suite, which is nice, very convenient for laundry, and then flows right into uh, the utility room and you can see I pulled up the floor plan to show kind of that racetrack um, that Eric was referring to earlier that like everything is very it's circular and they, they have all the access to all the spaces that they use um, for the majority of the time so the utility room connects to the drop zone connects to the hallway back to the master and circle back through um, so yeah just very very nice space and um, like they were saying in the drop zone we did the um, the bench for them, um, as well as the cabinets above, and then he came back and did the bead board and, and the hooks on his own. So just add a little bit more character to it. But you bet. Very good space, very good spot for all of that. So going back to our uh, the Nacogdoches question, it was the Nacogdoches, right? I hope. Yes, it was the Nacogdoches. Okay, yeah. So um, yeah, I know that the. I think what they're referring to is the cathedral ceiling that goes in the family room and out to the covered porch. So it's not mm -hmm. one of the pre-done custom options it can be done on this house um you know with the trust and everything it's going to kind of depend a little bit on uh the price may vary but you're probably looking somewhere in the 30 to forty thousand dollar range um to do the cathedral ceiling in the family room cathedral ceiling on the back porch to add the porch itself um and then to do the the trust would need to be about 16 feet wide off off of there to do that so uh, again if you've already added you know, if you're if you're doing pricing, you've already added the porch. It wouldn't cost near that because that, about half that cost is the is adding the porch itself. So, if you're just adding the porch already, and then you want to convert that porch into the cathedral ceiling and all that, it, it'd be about twenty to do that. So, okay, makes sense. All right, and then we have Will uh, sharing. Y'all have a blessed week. I got to build a gate for the chicken run. I'm putting up around the brooder house. Awesome. All right. 
And Chris is, is advising Will to drink several gallons of water out there. Yeah, yeah. it's brutal. <laughs> and then Suvi's asking, is there somewhere you can look online or possibly brochure on the different mirror lighting options that you offer? I'm not online, but you can go into our design centers and they can show you um, all of those. Um, and then Will says he has been taking lots of breaks um, as well out there. And um, then Wendy is sharing a random thought. It looks like the frame for the slide preservation is evergreen fog, the same color our doors will be. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's the brand color, right? Like that's what you've tried to do. Yeah, it's one of the brand colors, but it's got like a, a percentage transparency to it. So I really, I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I can tell you what Pantone and Hex it is. I, I don't, I don't know if it's what Shore and Williams would call Legit, it. Legit, you start getting into Pantones and Hex, and you've you've officially gotten way out of Eric's. <laughs> but those are real I things. You, like I give you the CMYK number. Do you want to do RGB or you want to? <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. It's... <laughs> colors are awful. Colors are awful. But trademarks matter. Evidently. Yes. Uh, we got Don in the master shower with no doors. Is there a credit for not having doors since the walk-in shower is not standard? So it, it, it depends on the home, but yeah. So if, if, if a door come, if a home comes with glass, you would get credit for the glass, but also in this case, they probably had more tile than, mm -hmm. you know, but, but yeah, there'd be a credit for the glass for not doing glass, but a home, like I think the Nottingham, for instance, it comes with standard with a walk-in shower, no glass. So right. um, it does depend on, there aren't very many plans that do. Most of the plans do have some type of glass, either half wall glass and a door or just a door. But yeah, you would get credit. If we're not doing the glass door, you get credit for that. All right. Awesome. Um, and then we have Will Sharon. It is 97 degrees where he is and it feels like 108. Yeah, man. Um, yeah that, that sounds accurate. That's, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then Natalie's asking, is there a place to see all the pictures? I'm just now tuning in. I love that you're talking Hex, Pantones, and CMYK. <laughs> Never in I my found life. my people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The only time I ever talked about that is we were sitting through a presentation on brand colors. This is how I get them to, that, to, like, to approve yeah, branding very quickly. I just start email. using words they don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, email. no one cares, Don. No one cares. But um, yeah, so you this video itself will be available. We'll also put this on our blog along with pictures of the home, so you can you can go through them and kind of look at them later. And then Christine is asking: Is the completion time frame from forms to forms to walk through at two hundred and twenty five days? Pretty close to that. Yeah, I mean that's the goal. Uh, we have some that are doing less than that, um, and we have some that are taking a little more than that. But yeah, right now that's 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 happening. We have some that are coming in at, at two hundred nine. Um, I know we had one, yeah, one come in last month at, at under, right at 200 days. I think we have a couple of guys. We have the two that have come in like 180. Oh, wow. Um, so it's, it's happening. The, uh, the, the trades are loosening up. The, the supply chain is loosened all the way up pretty much. Um, the weather is cooperating as far as we're concerned. Right. Yeah. We're going to say it a lot until we're, we're going to will it to rain. That's what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm right. I currently, I'm starting to get a beachfront entry in, onto my pond, uh, which is not by design. It's not supposed to have a beachfront entry at all, <laughs> but it's getting there. Um, yeah. My wife says it doesn't look exactly like the Caribbean, but it's all in, it's all perspective, really. The water is probably not quite as blue. Well, I can change that with one trick, one trip to, uh, you know, the local feed <laughs> store with dye. That's easy. Pick a Caribbean <laughs> color you want. I've mixed green and blue and black and what I can do every color you want to. All righty. <laughs> We've got Matt asking, uh, do you recommend having an appointment to view a model home or can you just stop by during the day? Uh, and so Matt, I'm going to recommend an appointment, particularly if it's your first visit, uh, just to make sure that there's someone available to talk to you. Um, you know, you, you are welcome to stop by every time, anytime. Appointments are not required. You can come anytime that we're open, but I do recommend an appointment if it's a first visit and you're wanting to kind of talk to a design consultant about what's available in the home, because um, they very well could already be busy with other, with other customers um, if you don't have that time reserved. Well, and I'll... I'll uh... I'll piggyback onto that and say, even if even it's your second time, I would, because sometimes you have more questions your second time. Mm -hmm. I noticed that when you, for sure, from one location to the next, like we would have customers back when we had the location in Houston down at Tidwell and I was a sales consultant in spring and they would leave Tidwell, which was the first time and they got to spring by the, the in that 15 mile journey. They thought they, of all the questions. Yeah. They talked to each other, had a lot of questions. And so the, Matt, the main thing is you, we want to get your questions answered. You're going to have questions uh, and that's totally fine. That's why, that's why we have staff there. If not, we would just put a code on the door and go in and help yourself, but you're going to have questions 
about the homes and the features for one to be able to show, Hey, this is what's included. These are some of the options. Those are good things to know. Um, but also the process, the mechanics mm-hmm. of getting this done and orchestrated out on your property. There's going to be questions surrounding that. And, and the benefit of an appointment is you've, you've got guaranteed time uh, that you're going to get your questions answered. So that's, that's the benefit there. Okay, perfect. Um, so Natalie's showing she does care about all of the different colors. So thank you. Thank you, Natalie. <laughs> thank you. Um, it's important that someone does. No, it so is. You're right. Um, I'm saying nice. So things are better now than they were last year. Yes, definitely. Yeah, whole, yeah. We're, we're, materials are more available. Labor's more available. Everything seems to be, be correcting and getting better. So. Construction wise. Um, construction wise. <laughs> Jennifer's asking. You said everything. At, well, I mean, you know, most things. It's all perspective. It's all perspective. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, Jennifer's asking at what point does the masonry and stone go up? We have our board and batten and our roof. Yeah, so it's uh, it's it's one of the later things to go on. It, it probably actually prob- probably about next. Uh, mm-hmm. So, like for instance, we're just now finishing it up on our Polidoro model. Um, the sheetrock could even go up beforehand. Um, that happens. So, sometimes it's just the availability of the trade mm-hmm. um, when it gets down to that point. But the house is technically dried in once the uh, Tyvek is on it. Uh, once the roof is on it and the Tyvek is is around it, the home is dried in. Right. Um, and then, you know, the hardy plant goes on next and then the, and then the stone will go on after that. But again, it may be insulated and sheetrocked before the stone goes on. That's totally normal. Yeah. And with, what the builders have always said to me is that they want to make sure that they've got all of the major exterior painting done mm-hmm. before they put your, your stone and your brick on, because we, we want to minimize the, the likelihood that we're going to get. We figured you picked the color of the stone on purpose. You so liked it to, that way. Yeah. We don't want to alter that color. <laughs> you don't all want it messy like the Moors do, or you right. want it specifically messy. <laughs> not, not whatever color you were painting. So mm-hmm. good question though. Yeah. Um, Christine is asking, does the size of the home factor in? And my guess is that was on yeah. time frame. Yes. Mm-hmm. Sure. Of course. Um, we've got Nora um, calling in from Dallas, building in Gonzalez on Richland Chambers Lake. Okay. Countertops on order. Eli is fantastic. He keeps us updated every week with the progress. We awesome. agree. And thank you for sharing that, Nora. We really yes. appreciate it. But yeah, Eli's, we get nothing but good feedback on Eli. He's awesome. Yes. Yeah, he's awesome. Um, Wendy is sharing that if she stays on schedule, she should be complete in under 255 days. So, yeah, awesome. good. Um, Sophie's saying, I love how helpful y'all are. We've never built before or know someone who has, and y'all seem to make it less stressful. Oh, thank you. That's why we're here. It's the whole so, point, yeah. Yes. Ask us all the questions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Matt is asking, is the Lone Star going to be the model in Republic Grand Ranch? Yes, it is. No comment. <laughs> Yes, it is. And as, as Matt, Matt sees, it is now on our website and you can, you can look at it. Um, both elevations are up there. So you can see we are building the C um, is what's going to go into Republic Grand Ranch with lots and lots of options. It's going to be a beautiful model. It's a nice house. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer's agreeing. Yes. Let's keep the paint off the stone. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we've got Anne saying hi from Rockport. Our Rio C is finished and we've been in for two weeks now. Love it. Awesome. Yeah, so and, and thank you for the very kind email you sent about um, about Colton. That was really cool. So Yeah. Awesome. All right. Great. Well, let's take a look at the other rooms in this beautiful home. All right. So you have rooms on either side. Right. right? Right. The office is on the right. Uh huh. And then our bedroom, our two other bedrooms and bathroom are on the left. Okay. So tell me about the split. Did you plan on having that or did you ever want maybe a hallway connecting all three? Well, I wanted to have the office separate because mm-hmm. I work from home some. And so we have that. And, and, and that room is larger than the bedrooms, the two bedrooms because she wanted to have a, like a craft area on one mm-hmm. side and I have a, a, a desk on the other. So that's a little bit larger uh, than the two bedrooms. And then, then we have the two bedrooms split from that, plus they're split from us as yeah. master, so we have mm-hmm. the split floor plan. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a, a customer favorite is yeah. to have that division <laughs> yeah. and have all the family and living spaces in between. Yes. So let's go check out the two bedrooms in the bathroom. All right. Yes. Okay, so this is definitely a guest room. Yes. yes. 
guest room and we have the window that looks out onto the, the property mm -hmm. there. Um, yeah, and I like the space in here. It's it's a conservative amount of room because you don't, I mean, it's just for spend, guests. Right, right. We don't spend time in here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's very often when, when our, our kids often. are in town or we have guests over, then this is there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they've got their space. Mm -hmm. There's a walk-in closet. There's still oh, a walk-in closet what, that's there. That's great, yeah. yeah. So. And then down the hallway we have the grandkids' room. The grandkids' room. And, and the, the guest room. room. Mm -hmm. yes. Guest bath. Yes. All right. I like that all of this is just on one side. Yes. And then Very convenient. Bathroom. Right. Oh, it's so bright in here. This is great. And you've got the ship lab too. Yes. Carried over Little from the master bath. Lab. Um, we did our own lighting and mirrors in mm -hmm. here as well, and hardware. Yeah. And um, also, we wanted a window in, in the shower. Yeah, and I to, do like that you to took the on. tile all the way to the ceiling too. Yes. Yeah, that yes. Was, we, we wanted to do that for sure. It definitely yeah. makes yes. the ceiling seem even higher. Because right. The ship lab went all the way up. We went to the top. Up all the way to the top. Yeah. Yeah. That looks great. And then Thank here we you. have your grandkids' room. Yes. The grandkids' room. Grandkids' room. Yes. Um, we wanted a space for them to play and sleep. Yeah. And um, <laughs> there's a walk in closet here mm -hmm. um, for Extra toys. Extra storage. <laughs> Lots the of toys. Toy closet. In there. Yes. Oh, yeah. I can <laughs> toys imagine. and books. And so. then as soon as they leave, just put it all back in there. Yes. Yes. So. <laughs> well, it's a perfect yes, amount of space. Right. Gives you exactly what you need. Yep. All right. All right. Well, let's go check out that back porch. All right. Okay. I'm excited. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So lots of lots of space. They designed walk-in closets all around, which was mm -hmm. uh, really good planning. And yeah, no no shortage of uh, where the focus is. Yeah. Uh, well, and you get exactly what you need out of a guest room. You have enough space for the guest and then you have all of the space for storage. So whatever yeah. you, you're normally doing with the room, you just shove in the closet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then they've got, they've got their space. And yeah, it's a beautiful guest bath. Uh, I love how light and bright um, it all is with the, you know, the white tile and the shiplap to the ceiling on the, on the other side, which again, we did the shiplap. They did the lights and mirrors. So Turn out great. Good, yeah, just a great little space. I think they did their cabinet hardware as well. I don't yeah. recognize that cabinet hardware. Yeah, they did all of the cabinet hardware throughout the home as well. Um, Very cool. Yeah, just absolutely beautiful. Um, Natalie is asking what plan this is. Natalie, this was their own. Um, they didn't find something, anything that was exactly what they wanted, so they brought in their ideas, and we we designed this with them. So Tanya um, worked with them, and this is this is the home that they came up with. Yeah. But yeah, just absolutely gorgeous. But. Let's look at, you know, why why you probably bought the house to begin with, which is right. enjoying the outside and, and your your wonderful land. So let's take a peek. Yep. One of the last segments, guys, drop your questions mm -hmm. into the chat. We'll answer any questions you got. Finance, site preparation, customization, anything you want to know, drop it in the chat. And we'll be glad to answer it. Absolutely. Oh, this is great. The fans... It doesn't help a ton, but it, it at least keeps the air yes. moving. Not this time of year. It just blows hot air, but, yeah. right. but it does circulate. It's better air. than nothing. Yeah. Yes. Well, this is an awesome patio. I like that you have some of it uncovered out here, so it kind of extends into your yard. Mm -hmm. Yes. We spend a lot of time out here mm -hmm. um, when it's cooler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that you have the fireplace, too. It yes. makes it a nice, cozy place to hang out with family and friends. Right. Watch the game. Yeah, we watch a lot of ball out here in <laughs> golf. And so, yeah. yeah. And then we have your screened porch. Yes. Yes. Uh, this was a must. This was with our old <laughs> creaking sound screen door, yes. which we had to have. <laughs> yes. Um, that was we, a, that was one of the requirements. Right. Um, we wanted a, a place to gather and eat. And yeah. Try to be at least bug free. A little bit bug free. <laughs> a little free, bit yeah. bug free. Um, no, I think it looks great. I love the colors out here. It's very warm and inviting and so, still bright. You've got your lights out here just in case you need it. But yes. there's so much light coming in from outside. Right. So great yeah. views too. We're happy with this. Yeah. The screen in porch. It looks fabulous and it connects right on into the right. hallway. There's so. a door here. Yeah, yeah, nice and quick to get out here from your kitchen. Right. This is great. All right, well, let's go back into the kitchen, finish up, and then I'll get okay. out of your hair. Okay.
Well, thank you guys so much for having me over to your house and showing me all around. I love everything that you picked out about it. And it just thank turned you. out so beautiful. We're very happy. We We've been it. really blessed. Yes, and it's a great spot for family, friends. Yes. Your forever home. Right. Out here in the country. Yes. I love it. And thank all of you as well for joining us for another episode of Tilson Home Tours. And we hope to someday soon make you part of the Tilson family. All right. Yeah, the outdoor living space is just where it's at for this house. And it's in a pretty place, I must say. You know, a little mm -hmm. partial to the area, but the trees and, and uh, they, did, they did a really good job. I see a little bird bath out there so they can watch mm -hmm. the cardinals and blue jays and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, we had to cut it a little short for the video because I think it was approximately 104 degrees when we were filming this. But um, wow. but yeah, absolutely. Just gorgeous. And yeah, I'm, I'm with, you know, Carolyn who's saying, you know, love the love the squeaky slam and screen door. I'm pretty sure that's in a Taylor Swift song. Um, oh, like it's just nice. it's just that classic country country sound. You got to have that nice bang on the screen door. Mm -hmm. So love. I love this porch space. It's such a great, great I like use. And the church pew is like a really cool little adder. Yeah. Just such such nice touches with what what the home that they designed and then the decor that they put into. Yeah, I just love this house. I could job. I could move in tomorrow. I could stay in that guest room if they let me. Yep. Um, um, and then yeah, you've got the large covered porch um, with that outdoor fireplace um, that we did put in for them. Um, but yeah, just a great space. Got got two more fans to try to keep that air moving. Um, but yeah, lots of space to just enjoy enjoy your backyard. Yeah. So so folks, yeah. Completely custom home. Um, mm -hmm. Again, they brought their design, their vision. Um, you know, kind of a shot of the, of the of the rear of the home, and you know, we were able to use one of our plans. Start with mm -hmm. that. Kind of, you know, get the get the square footage. Kind of where we start. It's kind of that. I want to wrap up the process a little bit. You bring a plan to us. What we're typically going to do is start with one of our designs that's similar in both size and features. Right. So it may not necessarily be the the cheapest one that's in that square footage range, right? But it'll be some. You know, what are the ceiling heights? What kind of ceiling treatments are you doing? How many? How much cabinet? And then we're going to start calculating kind of the, the big differences, right? What's the difference in square footage of living area? What's the difference in square footage of covered porch? What's the difference in square footage of garage? Um, and then if we're still on track with, with what you're thinking about budget and what we're building, then we the next step is get a little more granular, right? We start measuring cabinets, countertops, floor coverings, you know, ceiling heights, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. And then we, we just typically arrive at, at um, exactly what they wanted. So yeah. Big it's shout true. out to the Moors for sharing this with us. Thank y'all for agreeing to do that. All right. So, uh, yeah, Matt, Matt. it's uh, hard to say. This was done back in like 2021. Um, so, man, I at least 550 to 600 probably mm -hmm. um, these days for the house. You know, that doesn't include land, obviously. That's house, garage, porches, all that kind of good stuff. Probably between 550 and 600, somewhere there, with the level of finish that they've chosen. Right. All right. Perfect. In other words, um, they bought it at a really good time because they did. They did. They, they bought it at a very good time. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, well, that is the last question I see. So if you guys have any other questions, go ahead and, and pop them in. Um, do that. We do have uh, some events coming up. We do. We do. Um, so registration is now open um, for our Waco Grand Opening. We're going to be out there on Saturday, August 5th. The models are completed. Landscaping is completed. Um, so we have the Angelina, the Tampico, and the two-bedroom casita. Um, so very excited. We're going to be there um, from 11 to 3 on Saturday. We're going to start off with a construction seminar. Uh, Nick Yates is going to actually, the VP of construction for the area, mm -hmm. um, is going to take you through the construction process and talk through that. And then we're we're working on getting a couple, one or two food trucks to come out and we'll be serving up lunch, um, you know, from 12 to 2 and the, you know, getting a local radio station to come on out. We're just going to have giveaways and fun and just celebrate that construction is complete and everybody can see these beautiful models. So, yep. I think it might be the only place currently we have very green grass because we just put it in. Yes, so, it's fresh grass. Um, it, it might not be, you know, it's two weeks from now. So, oh, according to Richard, we're watering the daylight <laughs> out of it. So, yeah, it's 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 in place. And we are, if you know, not, we'll buy some of that dye that you were talking try, about. Oh, yeah, spray paint grass. That's no spray problem. Paint. Yeah. We'll go, we'll go full landlord on it. Um, I think we need to challenge the Lawn and Garden Center that's down the street and be like, can you keep it alive? Oof. Oof. 
Uh, well, I know the landscaper very well. He's gonna he, he'll do his job to keep it alive. He's not gonna put his name on it to be perfect. But yeah, guys, we'd love to see you out there. Um, Don and I'll both be there. Mm-hmm. We'd love to hang out with you. The course, the award winning team from Waco, Brandy yes. Bauer, sales manager of the year Yay, for Brandy. the entire state of Texas. She won the Star Wars, so she will be there. Obviously, it's her office, so mm-hmm. um, she'll be there hanging out. We'd love to see you guys out there and um, and show you the Angelina, show you the Casita, show you the Tampico for those models, and of course, all the different customizations you could do and learn more about construction. Yep. Let's see. We've got a few more comments that are coming in. Uh, we got Gary been to both Spring and Katie several times discussing and also the seminar at Spring two weeks ago. Awesome. I finally decided on the Brazoria model for out here in Waller Pattinson with many options. Next Beautiful. step's coming. Awesome. It's great awesome. To hear. Look forward to that. Yeah. And the Moors are sharing. Um, we just want to say a huge thank you to our salesperson, Tanya Johnson, and all the Tilson staff. We love our custom home. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Thanks for inviting us on the journey. Make yeah, us part absolutely. of it. Absolutely. It's an honor. Um, we've got Enel Sanchez. Hi from Humble. We just had our pre stakeout this morning in New Caney, um, having to remove at least 65 trees. Yeah. Oh, yep. That's New Caney. He's in the, <laughs> he's in the Piney Woods. It's uh, about par for the course. So good. That's awesome. That's, uh, that's the next steps. I, I know you have many more. So mm-hmm. it's 60, Hopefully you've got some some more people on here like 65 trees. 65 like, trees. That won't even make a dent where he is. <laughs> that's wow. just where the house needs to go. We've got plenty oh. more. All right. Awesome. Thanks. For anyway, sharing. well, hey, thank thank all of you for uh, for watching. Um, yeah, Tanya saying the more. Yeah, Tanya saying the more is a pleasure to work with. Um, and and you know, thank y'all for tuning in. Obviously, thank you customers for trusting us. Um, thank you if people are thinking about doing this. This doesn't have to end here, right? We've got right. twelve design centers across the state of Texas with model homes ready for you to tour. You can make appointments, come see us. We got a new home specialists on standby that you can talk to with high level questions. Got a Facebook page, we had a YouTube channel. This is the you said 149th episode. Yes, this is episode 149. So yeah. Next week is 150. We'll be taking off. We're not doing. I'm just kidding. We'll, we'll, we'll. <laughs> and that's it. We're done. And that's it. We're, done. We're <laughs> going to stop at 149. Boy, that would drive people insane, right? Like some people would be like, "You're 149. You stopped at 149." Yeah. Just yeah. Anyway, uh, we got a ton of content out there. Got a. a uh, uh, Instagram page, um, website that's got all of this information will be on the website, of course. Mm-hmm. The blog post, it'll have all the color selections, stuff like that. Donna and her team work tirelessly to keep that up to date and accurate and um, very, very informative. So um, thank you, Don, for putting all this together. Absolutely. Thank you, Kelsey, for going out and doing the shoot. Thanks, David Bibiano, um, hailing out of Baston uh, for whatever reason. Hope you caught a, I hope you catch a baseball game. Um, I know the, the Red Sox are not your team. You're a Yankees guy for whatever reason. Um, but anyway, thanks for doing this, man. You do great work. And thank you all for watching. And, and we hope this is informative. And we really soon hope to make you part of the Tilson family. We'll see all y'all later. Bye, everybody.